Hello everyone. Today we are talking about safety and protection, which does not sound like a very fun topic, but I actually had a lot of fun coming up with the, um, the thoughts for this. So in the, the realm of organizing, there is lots that has to do with safety and protection, whether it's about your saving or protecting yourself or protecting the items that you are storing. Um, so for your own safety when storing items, you really want to think about um, how that item is going to be stored and um, on a regular basis if you're you know walking under a shelving unit or near a shelving unit just keeping aware of things that could be falling off um, also uh, thinking about when you need to get that item is it easily accessible for you and safe for you to do so so make sure that when you're storing items that you don't put really really heavy things on the top shelf this might seem kind of uh, obvious, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't think of the word there. <laughs> this might seem kind of obvious to not store really heavy things on the top shelf, but if it's something that you never really access, you might not think twice about putting it on the top shelf. But you really wanna make sure that when, uh, when you need to access that item, whether it's three years from now or you know a couple days from now, you wanna make sure that you're not gonna be hurting yourself when you're accessing it. So you, you don't wanna to have to strain when you pull it down. Um, you also don't want to put it on the very bottom necessarily because then you really have to lift to get it up. So keeping really heavy items at waist level is definitely preferable. Um, it makes for the easy browsing of the contents as well as for easier transportation. Um, but I, I, I feel like out of all the options, the middle is the best, bottom next, and top at the very, very last resort. Um, because at least at the bottom you can still see the contents without having to bring it down. Um, but yeah, if, if it's something that you're going to have to lift, it just requires more, uh, more strain on you to lift. And you have to make sure that you're lifting properly, of course. Um, make sure that any sharp items are in cases or sheaths, um, especially if it's just a, a random bin of assorted items. Because um, you don't want to be digging around in things and then cutting yourself. Um, I find oftentimes at clients, I will wear gloves when I'm going through bins of, of things that we don't know what the contents are because I don't want to impale myself on something sharp and then potentially get tetanus or something like that. Um, so definitely, you know, at least be cautious when you're going through items. Don't just stick your hand in there. Um, uh, make sure that you're being aware of what you're looking at and when you're going through the items. Once again, this may seem very obvious, but you never know. You know, it's, it's always just good to have in the back of your mind. Um, so one thing that you may not know is the storage of batteries. So I, I honestly don't know very much about batteries, but I've read a few articles that talk about, sorry, I'm trying to get a battery out of this bin, that talk about if you have two batteries in a drawer, you know, if you have a junk drawer and the batteries are just tossed in there, if the ends touch um, for extended periods of time, if other components are involved, it could potentially start a fire in your drawer which is not what anyone wants. So really making sure that your batteries are stored next to each other so that the ends are not touching is really crucial. Uh, you can get specific bins like the one I have here that keep the batteries all lined up perfectly and beautifully, um, but you can also just use any little storage bin as long as it's something that the batteries aren't able to roll around really easily, um, just to keep them lined up and um, and just separated from each other. So that's something that's really crucial um, just for your own safety and the safety of the items in your drawer or of your home in general. Um, keeping chemicals safe, uh, tucked safely away from children is also very important, especially if there's some items that the packaging might be a little, um, it, it, maybe it's worn off or maybe this packaging looks really similar, similar to a shampoo bottle, but this is, you know, a corrosive chemical. So make sure that any, any items that are sort of, um, uh, sorry, I can't think of the word, <laughs> any items that are not obvious of what the contents are, maybe write on it with a Sharpie and just say, you know, bleach or, or whatever, whatever content it is, and make sure that those items are tucked into the back away from kids if they happen to pull open the drawer um, looking for something fun in there um, and and yeah just just making sure that it's it's kept safely away from them I also wanted to talk about safety of your items so 
All, most of us, all of us, should have important documents and files. So this could be your tax returns from previous years. This could be any identification papers, marriage certificates, um, legal documents, that sort of thing. We all have those sort of documents. And um, it's really crucial to, to think about storage of those items, especially if a disaster happens, because we never know when a disaster is going to happen. Um, so you just want to make sure that you have a backup. So having a digital backup on some sort of cloud storage is really crucial because the cloud storage can be accessed from anywhere, um, as well as having those paper copies, because you want to have both in case of either, you know, a fire, but also in case of the security breach, you want to make sure that you have both. Um, storing your paper documents and other important files in a fire safe box is a really great way to sort of uh, protect yourself from any damage. Um, you can usually get those at office supply stores, um, and they're kind of like a safe, but they're they're a fire fire safe box. Um, yeah, so just making sure that you have backups for those is really crucial. Um, even just having a scan of your driver's license on your cloud storage it can be really helpful as well. Um, memorabilia, we often will have those memorabilia items, you know, photos, documents, little knickknacks, teddy bears, uh, pieces of baby clothing. We all have those things that are really sentimental and special to us, and we want to make sure that we're safely protecting those items because they hold all of that important sentimental value. So definitely make sure that any of those items, you're storing them in a plastic container with a lid. Um, I say plastic because if it's a cardboard box, it could be prone to moisture. If it's a metal box, it could also be prone to moisture and then start rusting. Plastic is basically the best option because it is like impervious to most things, especially moisture. Um, and you also want to, if possible, store in an area that is temperature controlled. You don't want to store these items in, say, a cold room or your garage or a basement if it has dampness in it because uh, paper will, will start to um, disintegrate photos will stick to each other and then those photos are now destroyed because you can't get them separated um yeah d documents can get moldy there's a lot of issues that can happen with dampness water can be like the worst culprit to destroy all of your sentimental items so yeah make sure that you're keeping them in a moisture or a temperature and moisture controlled environment um, even if it's at the back of your closet or um uh, in a basement if it is somewhere that like a finished basement um, and yeah just keep them in plastic because plastic definitely adds that extra layer of protection um, but yeah so those are my my safety tips um, but yeah so make so just make sure just kind of maybe take a take a check around and make sure that the items that you have stored are in a safe area um, that they're safe for you to access and for children in your household to access just keeping on top of that is um, just just good. Just good to, to keep on top of your, your safety. All right. I hope this was helpful and we will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.